Part 11, Polygons. You will find this on page 182 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to focus on the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon. A polygon has as many exterior angles as the number of sides. For example, if we produce the side of a quadrilateral in one direction, then four exterior angles are formed. Each interior angle of a polygon is associated with an exterior angle. Just remember, produce means extend. So basically, I just extend that line. Now, don't extend that one to there. So go along the line, extend. Go along the line, extend. Along the line, extend. And that will be my exterior ang angles. And this will be my interior angle. And just notice that the interior and the exterior is forming a straight line, 180 degrees. Now, you can look at this investigation, how to find the sum of the exterior angles of a poly polygon by either using the QR, there's a YouTube video on that, or by using the link. Okay, so from this investigation, we observe that the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees. So basically, if you look at triangle, the interior will be, one interior is 60, but the sum of the exterior will be 360. A quadrilateral, the sum of the exterior, 360, 360, 360, 360, 360, 360, 360. But if I want to find the size of one exterior angle, I just take this 360, divide 3. 360, divide 4. 360, divide 5. Okay. So did you notice that the sum of the exterior angles stays 360, no matter how many sides the figure has. So the interior becomes bigger, but the exterior stays 360. Okay, let's look at regular polygons. Uh, a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon. Let's look at this example. Example 12. A octagon is a polygon with eight sides. Calculate the size of an interior, that means one interior angle of a regular octagon. So first, use the formula, substitute 8. This is the sum of the interior angles of an octagon. And then to find one angle, you just divide it by 8, and that will be an answer of 135 degrees. Now, if you must find the sum of the exterior angles, it's always 360. So just say 360 divide by 8, and that will be 45 degrees degrees. Now, a regular polygon, if I so calculate the size of an exterior angle, and now calculate the size of an angle at the center. Now, an angle at the center is if you draw all that diagonals in, then you will find this angle is the angle at the center. Now, remember, a revolution is 360. So, it's 360 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and that will be 45. Take note. Do you see that the exterior angle is equal to the interior angle, the angle at the center? So that angle is equal to that angle if it's a regular polygon. Okay. I want you <coughs> to do the following. I want you to do try now 12. Okay, let's just highlight it. Let's just move it first up. Uh, try now 12. I want you to do number A. I think we can just uh, do number A. Let's do number B. Just number B. <laughs> and you must do all three with number B. You can stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 12. Number B. And we are going to start with the first one. Uh, calculate the following angles. An interior angle of a nonagon. 
Now remember a nonagon is having nine sides. So basically we can say a nonagon it's a nine sided figure. So if I want to find the sum of the interior angles, I'm just going to use the formula n minus 2 times 180. And that is going to be 9 minus 2 times 180. And that's going to be 1, 2, 6, 0. So if I want to find 1 interior angle, it's going to be 1, 2, 6, 0, divide by 9, and that answer will be 1, 4, 0 degrees. Okay, so an interior angle. Now, if I look at the second one, let's just use another color. Then exterior angle. Now, remember, uh, or, um, the exterior, the sum of the exterior angles, sum of exterior angles of a, oh, let's just rewrite that, nonagon. It's just the same with all the different, it's always 360. So one exterior angle Oh, this pin. And it's going to give me 360 divide 9. And that's going to give me an answer of 40. Let's just rewrite that one. Let's just rewrite that. 40 degrees. Okay, and then the last one. The, an angle at the center, remember, the at the center, so we can say angle and that's going to be 360 oh, let's just rewind 360 divide 9 and that's going to be an answer of 40 degrees. So again, take note that this e one exterior angle is equal to an angle at the center. It's exactly the same value.